Hello Gemini, welcome to a love reading. This is going to be a reading all about what's going on for you in love. Uh, what do we need to know about the other person and what's next for the connection? So let's jump right in. As always, Gemini, this is meant to be a general reading. And so that means that not every single thing in this reading will resonate with every Gemini 100%. Take what resonates, what applies to you. Um, leave the rest. Check out your other signs as well for more messages. I have a playlist all for Gemini, so check that out if you want to see more readings for your sign. It's linked in the description box. All right, so let's jump in, Spirit Angels, guys. Messages for Gemini. What's going on for Gemini in love? What's going on for Gemini in love? What's going on for Gemini? Oh, we got new beginnings. You're ready for a new beginning and a fresh start. It's one of my favorite cards in this deck. This is my uh, Stellar Energy Oracle deck. All the decks that I use are in the description box. Anything else for Gemini? Sudden realization, clarity, truth, epiphany. A sudden realization has brought new clarity. So sudden realization is leading to a new beginning here. Um, bottom of the deck, patiently waiting. I think uh, all Geminis have been going through some sort of patience test. <laughs> Tell me in the comments if that's true, because we've I, I'm, I'm including myself here because I'm a Gemini Sun and a Gemini Venus, and um, we just keep getting this message of divine timing and waiting and being patient and trusting and having faith. Um, so I know that um, I'm not alone on that Gemini. So let me know in the comments because I love hearing from Geminis in the comments um you guys leave some of the best comments so what else for gemini in love what can gemini expect in love mysterious enigmatic and mystifying this is one of my favorite cards in this deck this is from my stellar rainbow deck um and that kitty is just so cute <laughs> bottom of the deck intense profound and earnest Ooh, so this is very like deep uh profound like it says but very like um well yeah i guess i should use the words that are here intense energy but i'm getting almost like more than meets the eye here whatever's coming uh in love there's something mystifying right there's something a little bit different about it so that's exciting we'll see what all of this means when i look at the tarot Should I put this over here? Sorry. Tell me more for Gemini. What's coming for Gemini in love? What does Gemini need to know? So let's break all of these down individually. I've, I've really been enjoying using this method, I guess you could say, in the readings lately, where I kind of look at every Oracle card um, on its own and get some messages. So I kind of want to keep that up. Tell me about this new beginnings energy spirit. Can I get some clarity with this new beginnings? Wow, Knight of Pentacles. Beautiful. So some sort of an offer is definitely on its way, Gemini. It's taken a long time to get here with the Knight of Pentacles. This is something solid. This is something that lasts the test of time. This is something with potential. Can I get one more for this new beginnings energy? King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. There's passion, desire, movement. You could be dealing with a fire sign here. Um, wow, bottom of the deck we have the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like this is going to be very alluring. That's the word I heard, alluring to a Gemini or to this, the Geminis that I'm reading for. This person is going to catch your eye or this is going to be, there's something about this that's just special, I feel. Um, okay, we'll break that down in a little bit. First, let me put down the other cards. Tell me about sudden realization. What's with this sudden realization energy? What can you tell me, Spirit for Gemini? Eight of Pentacles. I 
I'm picturing it's almost like um, this realization is tied to effort. So someone's realizing or having clarity or an epiphany regarding effort. Okay, so let me get one more. What else can you tell me for sudden realization? What else for Gemini? Strength, Leo energy. It's like someone's realizing that they need to work on something or they need to put effort somewhere. I'll have to clarify that more. Four of Pentacles at the bottom here. And the Seven of Wands. So there's some sort of resistance here, a guarded energy with the Four of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. Like a block here. So this, I feel, was necessary to move things forward for you or this other person. Okay, tell me about this mysterious energy, number 39. Can you tell me about this mysterious energy? Enigmatic and mystifying. Four of Pentacles. Okay, what else? Yeah, something probably has been mysterious because of this resistance or this holding back or this block. Can I get one more for mysterious? Nine of Cups. King of Cups at the bottom of the deck with the Page of Pentacles. So there's definitely an offer coming and it's page is a pentacles. So it's not just feelings. It's not just like expressing love. Wow. The two of cups after that. Look at this energy. King of cups, page of pentacles, two of cups, beautiful energy. But you know, even though feelings are here, cause you know, we have the king of cups, the offer itself is not just emotions. There's something more to the offer. So that's very exciting. Some of you are definitely dealing with a fire sign or will be dealing with a fire sign. So let's, let's clarify. I'm gonna use this little deck that I have here. This has uprights and reverse cards in, in here. So we'll kind of get into this energies. I'm telling you this cat card, I feel like this is very important. So I can't wait to dig in over there. Okay, but let's start over here. Let's start with this uh, King of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. What can you tell me about this Knight of Pentacles and King of Wands? What can you tell me for Gemini? What can you tell me about this energy? Wow, Ace of Pentacles again. Yeah, this is big, Gemini. I feel like this is a big offer coming in here. And it's it's a stable offer. So it might have taken you a long time to get to you. But it's definitely coming. Eight of Wands. Communication, movement. Like I'm, I'm picturing you talking to someone a lot, like texting. One more. Wow, the higher font, exactly. Taurus energy. So it's almost like this is going to lead to a commitment here. The the direction is commitment. The path is commitment. Like this is the person you're going to be with. For a long time. Justice reverse. Interesting. And then the Ten of Wands. So it's almost like there, things weren't really happening for you. Or it wasn't really fair to you. Or balanced. Or maybe things just weren't exactly. I don't know. Maybe you were in a karmic cycle. Or this other person was. Or there was just an imbalance here. And now it's being corrected. Six of Swords. Yeah, there's movement to somewhere else leaving the difficulty behind and heading to something more peaceful, more balanced. 
I'm also getting you or this person are making a big move and that's leading to some sort of new beginning here. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles and Strength. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles with the Strength card. Ten of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Eight of Pentacles and the Strength card. Ten of Wands. Yeah, there's a cycle closing here. Look at these tens. Tens are, um, it's a number about completion. Can I get one more for the Eight of Pentacles and the Strength card? I feel like someone has been working on something for a long time. Ace of Swords reverse. See, it's almost like, um, and the Sun reverse. A lack of communication, a lack of clarity. Someone could have been deceiving themselves here. Ace of Cups reverse was behind that. Eight of Pentacles reverse. So something wasn't working. Three of Pentacles reverse. And the Five of Wands. Yeah, there was, okay, you or your person. I don't know, there was a third party involved, but you or, or this person that eventually um, you're connected to or are connecting with right now. Um, I feel like there was, un, uh, you know, deep, sadness here with ace of cups reverse the sun reverse but also a waste of an effort or a waste of time or someone that wasn't able to put an effort in what they truly wanted i'm also picking up someone was deceiving themselves maybe pretending that things were okay or um maybe they just couldn't see maybe that's why this sudden realization card is so important because for the longest time they didn't see what Situ what maybe how bad the situation was or they didn't realize um, the truth of a situation or they didn't realize that they were so unhappy um, something like that let's clarify this ace of swords reverse can I get one more please for this ace of swords reverse what's this in regards to what's this ace of swords reverse about the Knight of Wands reverse. And then again, the Three of Pentacles reverse at the bottom of the deck. Oh, geez. Can I get one more for this Ace of Swords reverse? Six of Pentacles. King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck and the Chariot Reverse, Cancer Energy. Yeah, with the Chariot Reverse, Knight of Wands Reverse, someone was literally, I, I feel like someone got into a situation that was not working. Strength, courage, effort is needed now because someone I feel got in, themselves into a situation. This could be another commitment. This could be a financial mistake or something that they are feeling overwhelmed by way down by and i say someone because this could be you or your person i feel like someone got themselves into a mess and they're just now waking up to the fact that they're stuck or this was an illusion or they lied to themselves or they were deceived something like that and now they're thinking well how can i make this work with the six of pentacles how do i rebalance this big imbalance in my life I don't know why you, you, this is coming in for a reading for you. Maybe your um, feelings for you are making them think this way or this is the path this person's on and eventually it will lead them to you, Gemini. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Four of Wands. Tell me more about this Four of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles reversed again. Okay, tell me about this Nine of Cups. Oh wait, there's another card here. Ten of Swords reversed, another 10. But this time it's reversed, which tells me 
this is an ending that has already taken place. Something has already happened here. What I'm seeing here, it's almost like after an ending takes place, what's going to happen? I'm going to have to clarify this. Tell me about this Ten of Swords reverse. Because the Ten of Swords reverse is a card about the ending has happened, right? Now you either forgive and move on or you just move on or you cannot move on from this ending. There's, there's several interpretations there. So tell me, about, but I see here the Four of Wands. Okay, hold on. Tell me about this Ten of Swords reverse. Spirit, can I get some clarity on this Ten of Swords? Temperance reverse, Sagittarius energy. So there's an imbalance here. Patience is needed. More work is needed. More effort is needed. King of Pentacles. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune reverse, King of Cups reverse, and then the Ace of Wands. Interesting. So what the message I'm getting is it's going to get worse before it gets better. But why? Because we have the Nine of Cups here. So eventually there's going to be some sort of wish granted, um, emotional satisfaction, eventually. But it's first... I feel like with this Four of Pentacles, something needs to be let go of here. Some of you are dealing with a person that's already in a commitment because I have the King of Pentacles that has shown up. Four of Wands showed up. Ten of Pentacles showed up. Hierophant is here as well, although this is, I feel, more your energy, whereas this is like outside of you. It's almost like this King of Pentacles is possibly your person here. And they're trying to work with this situation that seems to have blown up in their face here. It's almost like they're prevented from putting in effort here. Or um, all of their efforts were like, there's still delays, you know. Tell me more about this um, Eight of Pentacles reverse. Three of Wands reverse. Yeah, this is a delay. This is uh, someone's being delayed. The Sun reverse. Six of Cups reverse. The Hangman reverse. Yes. I feel like this person's leaving another situation and they're delayed because of that. It's like they can't fully leave this past situation or they're still dealing with this past situation. Tell me about this Nine of Cups. Justice reverse again, Libra energy. Tell me about this Nine of Cups. Oh, that's way too many. Why is this Nine of Cups here? And it's funny because as soon as I get into this person's energy, they start getting all these reversals. You didn't get any. So I, it's almost like this confirmation for me that this is outside of you. This is something that is not really your energy or you're not the one truly dealing with this. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. Of course, feel free to flip the roles, Gemini, if it resonates more for you. Nine of, yeah, Nine of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, this is someone that's leaving another commitment and they're not fully free. Maybe this is a divorce or separation, a legal separation of some sort, or there's some sort of tie here. Yep. Death, page of pentacles, reverse. So this is going to delay things, but make no mistake, I feel like this is something that has potential. It's just, you know, life is imperfect. And I feel like this person's definitely dealing with something that's not perfect. I, and I'm almost getting, it's almost like someone doesn't want your person to be happy with you. Like they, they're going to make it difficult for your person to be with you because like, it's almost like out of pettiness here. I have this King of Swords reverse and I don't think this is your person or you. Yeah. It's like, they're going to want to make them wait 
or delay them as much as possible. Queen of Swords, Seven of Swords, The Fool, and The Five of Wands. Yeah, it's like when your person um, is struggling to be free or finally becomes free or tries to be free, here comes this person to cause drama. That's kind of um, disappointing, but hey. The tarot is not, this is in the movies. This is real life, and so that's usually what happens. You know, I feel like this is this is a hater. This is someone that I feel just wants to keep your person stuck as long as possible and wants to cause problems. Um, I don't think it's because of you specifically, Gemini. It's like they don't want this person to be happy with anyone. You just happen to be the one that this person chooses. And so you become the person kind of in the way here. Tell me about this person that Gemini is or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person that Gemini is or will be dealing with? What do we need to know about this person that Gemini is or will be dealing with? Okay, we have the Ace of Cups. So a lot of love here. Every time that I... Um, when I um, get information for you and this person, like when it, when I shift over to your energy, this is the energy that I'm getting. We'll see. Can I get one more? What do we need to know about this person that Gemini is or will be dealing with spirit? Six of cups. Yeah. I mean, come on. Ace of cups, six of cups. Like this is like true love. This is sweet, genuine love. This could be a past person, a past life connection, a soulmate. Um, so when it comes to you, I feel like things are peachy, you know, like things are good. Um, this person's in love. They have a lot of genuine feelings for you, et cetera, et cetera. It's everything else that I feel is a problem here. So what's next? What's next? for Gemini and this person's spirit. What's next for Gemini and this person? What can Gemini expect in the near future? What can Gemini expect regarding this person, this connection? We have seven of pentacles. What can Gemini expect? Three of Cups. So Gemini, don't shoot the messenger, okay? Don't don't shoot the messenger. Two of Wands. Don't shoot the messenger, okay? I'm also a Gemini. I'm on your side. <laughs> but I feel like there's going to be some sort of waiting period before you are together with this person. I feel like there's going to be a little bit of a waiting period. And I, I don't think it's... I think you're still going to be kind of maybe in contact with this person. Um, but with the Three of Pentacles, Three of Cups, there could be, you know... It's almost like this person's still figuring out this other situation. King of Cups, Six of Pentacles. Um, maybe trying to rebalance the situation that they're in. Um, there's almost like a, hes not a hesitation, like a, a slight delay. Tell me more for Gemini. Let's clarify. What do we need to know, Spirit, about these energies for Gemini? Tell me about this Seven of Pentacles. Tell me about this Seven of Pentacles.
this side in reverse. What I'm getting now with this mysterious energy and this sun reverse, I feel like this person's going to try to protect you from this. I don't think this person's going to be open about the cluster beep that they're in. <laughs> I don't want to cuss on this channel. Um, it's like they don't want you to know how bad it truly is. And so there's always going to be this aura of mystery around this. And I'm also getting, it makes it difficult for you to truly understand why something might not be progressing at the speed that you might want it to. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Yep, Ten of Wands. So someone's going to be a bit delayed. This King of Pentacles strength and then ten of pentacles yes i feel like this person and then the death card after that they're trying to get out of this commitment or this situation this financial tie etc all of these are upright by the way because once again when it comes to you specifically it's almost like the energy shifts it's like with you there's no problems it's everybody else tell me about this three of cups Tell me about the Three of Cups. Eight of Swords. Reverse. Okay. Tell me about the Three of Cups. The Empress. Reverse. Can I get one more for this Three of Cups? Tell me about this Three of Cups. Three of Wands, Reverse, the Moon, Reverse, Pisces Energy. Again, the same energy, Death, Ten of Pentacles, Four of Cups. I think, Gemini, at some point you're going to want to know exactly what's going on. There might be some sort of revelation here because I feel like this other person is going to make it difficult. So it's almost like... The more this third party ramps up, the more you're going to realize that something is not quite right or perhaps that this person was trying to protect you this whole time. They are going to be free of this situation though with the Eight of Swords reverse. I feel like they're over they're going to overcome this situation. There's just going to be a bit of a delay while they get this done cuz I feel like the more this third party acts up, the easier it is for your person to be like, I don't want to deal with this. You know, let's speed the process up. Tell me about this two of wands. Tell me about this two of wands. Three of pentacles reverse. Tell me about this two of wands. The star reverse. Aquarius energy. Five of Pentacles. Okay, can I get one more? Five of Pentacles reverse, which is good. What else? Ah! What else for this Two of Wands? Wow, the Tower reverse. Queen of Swords, King of Cups reverse, Ace of Wands, and the Lovers. Yeah, and after that, the Ace of Pentacles. So don't fear, Gemini. There is a big tower moment happening here for this person. Um, but eventually, there will be a new beginning with this person. A beginning free of all of this drama. Just, you know, try to be um, patient with this person in particular. Because it's not going to be easy. Um, I think in time, they will you know, overcome the difficulty. And I feel like at the end of the day, it's going to be worth all of this, which is good. There is a light at the end of the tunnel here. 
Um, otherwise, I'll leave it here, Gemini. Thank you so much for watching, for your continued support. I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.